Today I got a 2009 GMC Sierra. This goes for most model GMCs, GMC Sierra trucks, Chevy trucks, Silverado. I'm going to show you how to, uh, or at least how I replace the brake pedal. I had a bad uh, stoplight switch that wasn't allowing me to shift. And what I did was I installed a new one, but unfortunately, I lost the clip. It shot up into the dash somehow, and the 10 millimeter bolt stripped in the, the pedal lever. So I don't like playing with stuff like this, so I'm going to replace the entire assembly. It's not expensive. And I'm going to show you how I did it, and you need to refer to the manufacturer instructions because this is very important especially when you put this clip on. This clip has got to be installed in this slot here and then a 10 bolt, a retainer clip. That stops the pedal. If that's not on right, it could be very dangerous. You know, once you get everything lined up, you want to get that clip on there and then slid over and then the bolt holds it on. But refer to the manufacturer's instructions or let a professional do it. Just showing you how I did it. You can see to install this brake pedal, there is one bolt, it looks like it's, I don't know what the word is, it's got to go in a certain way, eccentric type thing or whatever. So we're going to reach up under there and get that bolt and loosen it. It's going to be different. All right, you can see there's a nut there and a the bolt goes all the way through. And I'm going to have to reach around with another ratchet so it don't spin and slide it out. It looks a little difficult, but uh, we'll be able to get to that. Bolt out and now the brake. You just gotta worm in there, it's a little difficult. So, this is what we got we got a screw on one end and a bolt on the other. When we put that back up, we want to make sure it's nice and tight. These are 18 millimeter. Then we're going to go in the process of putting our sensor on and our retainer clip again. You can see this one here, this is the uh, broken one. You can see that 10 broke off right in there. It's probably not in common. When I was pl replacing the uh, tail light sensor, I was tightening that back up and I barely tightened it. So these, these bolts get weak. I didn't want to play with it, like I said, for safety. So we're going to put the new one on. This whole job should take 10, 15 minutes if you play it right. Wear gloves though, because I already cut my finger. Joe Bloodmaster. The only other thing I want to mention is when you put the sensor back on, you put the retaining clip on. There are videos out there on how to do it. I also have a video. I'm gonna make sure that's done right, otherwise you're a break. Could come separate it from the master cylinder rod. I don't know what the exact name is. You'll have a serious problem. So that's why it's good to have a professional do this. And you should not do it yourself.